Nvidia stock has surpassed a record $2 trillion valuation. A lot of investors are asking, is that too much? Is there any more room to go? Well, in this video, I'll answer where I think Nvidia stock price could be three years from now or in 2027, towards the end of 2027. I'll take a look at a few of the company's numbers, its metrics, its forecasts, the earnings per share estimates and the valuation and come up with the conclusion on where I think the stock price could be. So follow along. Let's take a look at this incredibly popular AI stock. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so one of the things I'm going to need to make my stock price prediction for NVIDIA is its valuation. As of this recording, NVIDIA is trading at a forward price to earnings of 28.52. You can see that over the last year or two, this has been on the cheaper end of where the valuation has been for NVIDIA stock. So while the stock price has been increasing, the valuation has not increased by all that much because the company is increasing its profitability along with increasing the valuation. So I also need the stock price and you could see what I was talking about earlier, the absolute explosion in Nvidia stock price. In 2023, it was less than $250 per share. And then in 2024, it's exploded up to $866 per share. Of course, if you've been following my channel, you'll know that NVIDIA has been one of my top rated stocks to buy. I ranked it on my list of top stocks to buy in 2024. And that was when the stock price was around $500 per share. It's now up to 866. Still, I've kept reiterating that recommendation. Every few weeks or so, investors keep asking, is it still a buy? Is it still a buy even after it's increased so much? And I keep reiterating week after week, yes, yes, yes. It's supporting the increase in stock price with increase in revenue and cash flow and profitability. So it's not just based on hype. If this was just based on hype, as I've said before, I would have downgraded the stock. I would have taken it off my list. But for now, it's still on my list of top stocks to buy. And I'll let you know a little bit later in the video when I last updated that and when I last updated that top stock to buy recommendation. So I also need its earnings per share estimates going forward. Now, NVIDIA is one of those strange companies that has a fiscal year different than the calendar year. What do I mean by that? So look at this, it's current year. It says it's 2025, but we're in 2024. NVIDIA's calendar year, NVIDIA's fiscal year, I should say, is ahead of the calendar year. So for the purpose of this video, when I'm looking at 2026 earnings per share, it's gonna be for the calendar year 2025. All right, I know it's confusing. I dislike that companies are allowed to do this, but they are allowed to have different fiscal years than the calendar year. It's part of the process and we just have to take it for what it is. It is confusing and I don't like that we have to make these adjustments, but here we are. So the earnings per share estimate for NVIDIA in 2025 is $30.63. I'm gonna use this for my prediction. I also need the growth rate, right? Because that's gonna be the earnings per share for 2025. I need the earnings per share estimate for 2028 to make a stock price prediction for 2027 using the forward PE ratio. I know I'm getting a little bit wonky here, but when I'm using a forward PE ratio, I always need the one year ahead EPS. So if I'm making a prediction for 2027, I need the earnings per share for 2028 because I need to know what the next year is gonna look like because when you're making an investment, you're getting the future of the company. You're getting the earnings from that point onward. You're not getting the performance from the past, although you are gonna benefit from that. What you're gonna get mostly is the performance in the future. So I wanna know the earnings per share in the future. And according to Wall Street analysts that are following, Nvidia stock, they think it's going to grow its earnings per share by 37.89% per year for the next five years. So that's the growth rate I'm going to assume to make my forecast for Nvidia's EPS. All right, 
So now that we have the numbers, we can start our stock price prediction. I mentioned 2025 earnings per share of $30.63. If I apply that 37.89% growth rate for three years, I get an earnings per share estimate for 2028 of $80.31. Now, if I apply that forward price to earnings multiple of 28, which the company is currently trading at, I've actually estimated it downward here. NVIDIA stock is at a forward PE of 28.5. If I take a forward PE of 28 and apply it to the $80.31 EPS in 2028, I get an estimated stock price of $2,248 for 2027. That would be roughly triple where the stock price is today at $866 per share. That would be a excellent return on investment to be sure. But what if the price to earnings forward was actually to increase? Well, then the stock price could rise as much as $2,569 per share in 2027. If the forward PE falls to 25, the stock price could rise more than doubling to $2,000 per share. If the forward PE falls all the way down to 20, then the stock price could roughly double to $1,600 per share. So if the earnings per share does indeed grow at the rate Wall Street expects, it's very, very likely that NVIDIA's stock price is going to be much, much higher than where it is today. The key is that earnings per share growth rate. If those earnings per share come in as expected, then NVIDIA's stock price is going higher from where it is today. I know it might be surprising. I know it might be a little bit concerning to think that a stock price that's already exploded as high as it's exploded has room to go even higher. But NVIDIA is a rare, rare company that's experiencing an absolute surge in revenue and profitability on the back of its near, near monopoly of the AI chip market. Now, it remains to be seen how much longer it can dominate the market. Recent estimates suggested it has roughly 80% market share. That's not likely to sustain longer term. So it's going to be interesting to see where its market share levels out as competition starts coming out with its own chips, right? Intel recently suggested it was coming out with the chip. Meta platforms came out with the chip this morning. Alphabet coming out with its chip. Amazon coming out with the chip. AMD coming out with arguably a closer chip to NVIDIA. Still, NVIDIA is at least one step ahead of the competition, probably more than that. And so it's going to have a strong market share going forward remains to be seen at what level it will be. Now, if the forward price to earnings were to fall like drastically down to 10, that's where you would see the stock price actually fall down to $803 per share from the current 866. So even in that scenario, you wouldn't lose very much in value from your investment. So NVIDIA, if the earnings per share, again, a lot relies on the earnings per share growth rate. And that's why I often talk about how vital profitability is to a company's stock price. They are connected. When you're buying a stock, you're getting a piece of the business. When you own a piece of a business, what are you looking for? Profits, right? That's why you want to own a business for the profits. If a business is not generating profits, it's not a business that you want to own. Sometimes investors make the mistake of disconnecting the stock price from the business. This is where earnings per share profitability makes a significant difference in valuation. So with all that being said, where do I think out of all these scenarios, which one is the most probable scenario for Nvidia stock price? I'm gonna suggest that things stay relatively as expected and the forward PE stays around 28, the earnings per share come in roughly as expected, and the stock price comes in at around $2,200 per share and $2,500 per share by 2027, by the end of 2027. So I'm expecting further increases in NVIDIA stock price, and you can understand why NVIDIA stock is rated as one of my top stocks to buy. I updated that recommendation yesterday on April 9th, reiterating that it is indeed one of my top stocks to buy still. And you can see with this 
robust expectation in where the stock price could be in 2027, why I like the stock so much and why it's on my list of top stocks to buy. Before I let you go, let me tell you about the greatest deal on YouTube. With just a click of a button, you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.